Hey everyone, it's Darby Ray Crouch with the WPCA and we're here for the second episode of spring training on the track with Darby Crouch. And today I have Chris Molly. Chris, thanks so much for having me out here on this beautiful property of yours. So we're just gonna dive right in. You and I have been, I've just been kind of following you around and watching you guys kind of do your thing. So first thing I gotta ask is kind of what an everyday spring training looks like for you guys. Well, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I know it starts early in the morning. I kick the horse out about six o'clock in the morning. We've been barning here for about three weeks now. And come home at lunchtime, usually push the barn out and pull the pails. And after work, Lane comes over and Tegan and Caden all help out, and Blake and Wendy, and clean the barn out and, you know, drive if we can and exercise in the equisizer. And, and about seven, eight o'clock at night, we put them back in. So it's a busy day. Yeah, long day, long hours. And <laughs> You were just mentioning kind of the crew that you have around here. So just talk, kind of talk about how important it is to have these guys helping you out. Oh, it's huge. Just like having Tegan come around. He started with us when he was like 14 years old and helped me out in the barns. And he started out riding and he's won the CPCA championship a few times over at the CPCA there. And mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, he couldn't come with us over to WPCA. <clears throat> he's got a full time job here. And then Caden kind of picked up when he was done out riding for me. And Lane and I own a few horses together. He owns a few, and we own a couple together. And yeah, you know, it works well, partnership. And you know, he gets to see his horses run and something to dabble in. Yeah, you're mentioning Caden. I was talking to Lane McGilvery yesterday about how nice it is having family, and it must be pretty cool to have him out riding right behind you too along the season. Oh, for sure. It's uh, to be able to do this with your son. It's pretty special, and you know, lots of fun and. You know, you can yell at him and he's not going to quit on you. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so last year was pretty great for you guys. 2022, you ended at the Century Downs with the overall kind of championship with the aggregate. Does that kind of give you that confidence that you need when you're going into the 2023 season? Oh, for sure. We had a few horse injuries, but, you know, we, we had lots of horses. So hopefully be able to put, put some in here or there and, you know, see if we can pick up where we left off. Do you kind of have a new team that you're working with this year going into the season? Yeah, we bought 10 new ones this year, so we're gonna been driving them. We've been, got four of them together right now, and they're actually working really well. I don't know if they'll see a race, all four together, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, we're gonna drive them lots, run them together and see what they got, see what kind of speed we can add to the team. How do you kind of know when they're ready to go You know, to the big shows? Like, Jeep, we start off at the Grand Prairie Stompede, so how do you kind of pick and choose which ones you want to go out and kind of when they're ready? Oh, we'll do lots of driving here and then take them over to a track and blow them out, see if they can run with the old boys or not. And, you know, they, they're acting like they could go, but until yeah. we stop them and blow the horn, we'll see. Yeah. I kind of want to get more <clears throat> into it on these horses. Are you, to make them, like, healthy and calm and everything, do you have chiropractors and regular people to come out here and kind of work them into shape yeah, and stuff for you? Yeah, we have chiropractors, MagnaWave, uh, the vets come out if something sore, we x-ray them, ultrasound, injections if we need. Yeah, whatever they, the horses, if they're not feeling up to 100%, mm -hmm. uh, we get them looked after and make sure they're on top of the game. I do all their teeth and mm -hmm. keep them on top of that. So other than that, yeah, if there's something's bothering them, we get it looked mm -hmm. after. Do you kind of want to talk about feed regimen and stuff? Because everyone is different. I know with my own horses, I'm different. Is there something that you're giving them to kind of keep them looking their best and feeling their best? I can't say that at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was kind of a secret. I know everyone's different. Every time I ask someone, they're kind of like, ugh. No, it's the basics. And it's like everybody makes sure they're hydrated, the electrolytes and mm -hmm. MSM for their joints and you know, lots of feed and keep them healthy. It's like any athlete, you gotta keep them fed up and because mm -hmm. they burn off a lot of energy, especially in this heat coming mm -hmm. up. Yeah, it, it is pretty hot here. We had snow like two weeks yeah. ago and now it it's super super crazy so I'm sure that the the feed and electrolytes and so on is keeping them feeling the best I want to talk about the thing that you have outside as well what you're keep like when you're not actually hooking with your horses can you kind of explain what that is what you're using so, out there we have an equisizer we bought about six seven years ago and it's uh I love it it puts slow miles on the horses mm -hmm. start them off early Usually end of March, beginning of April, we start off and just slow miles and increase it by the week and the mm -hmm. speed, the time, everything, and it sure helps for that bottom end, I find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you think that that kind of, I mean, a lot of people don't have these things, but do you think that really benefits you guys when it's kind of not warm enough yet to kind of head out into the field and start racing? 
Yes, yes and no. Um, we're pretty fortunate here too that the sand, such a sandy area, so as soon as we get any kind of melt or anything, mm -hmm. the water's gone, the frost is gone, so pretty lucky, but it does, I think, give us the advantage, mm -hmm. but you also see other guys that do it other ways and they're just mm -hmm. as successful or more successful. Right. So kind of, what are you hopeful for for the 2023 season? Honestly, we, you know, you always want to set your goals higher than you did last year, mm -hmm. and I would like to go for that world title and, mm -hmm. and you know, absolutely go for Calgary again, win some more shows, but uh, as long as everybody's healthy and sound and the crew stays so safe out there, that's all we can ask for and have fun. That's the biggest thing. Well, I wish you the best of luck this year, and thanks so much for having me here. Well, thanks for having me. I'm Darby Crouch with the WPCA for spring training sessions. Stay tuned because we will have a few more drivers on our channel. Thank you.